What's up everyone? It's Dave Stone with another live and exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. I'm back today. I told you guys I'd come back and I want to show you this massive Moringa cutting and that's what we're going to be doing today. Planting a massive Moringa cutting plus Moringa updates on the Stonehaven Moringas. So I'm going to show you how Maui is doing. We just chopped Maui down and planted all the cuttings. I'm going to show you how the cuttings are doing. And uh, there's a thought out there that um, you know you need to have an inch and a half to two inch thick Moringa cutting in order to um, for it to sprout. Um, but I want to show you what's happening with my little other thinner ones. So, but check this thing out. So, there's a story behind this, and I'm going to share it with you really quick because I, you know, I, I I did good in high school, really, really good in high school. And then I went to college, and they started making me take all these classes that I really wasn't interested in. So, um, at the time, you know. Right now, I think I'd be very interested in chemistry or physics, but at the time, I was interested in acting and tennis and uh, life drawing and photography. So those are all the classes that I took in college, and I took them over and over and over again. Got a whole bunch of elective credits that actually didn't count for things. But I gotta show you something. Super excited about this, guys. I didn't get a college diploma, but I got into real estate, did my own thing, got into making movies, did my own thing and always learned by finding experts to teach me. So I just was in Temecula for, at Blanca's Vineyard um, for the Moringa for Life certification course, the Growers certification course. So here's my diploma, and now I'm a certified Moringa grower. So now I, I know what it takes to grow super clean and process super clean Moringa because Mariko is the teacher. She's been working with Moringa for the last 20 years and she's like a sensei. She's like my Jedi master and then I'm, I'm like the Padawan learner. But you know, she's been working with it for so long and it's such a magical and mighty plant in a lot of different ways. But uh, I'm super excited. This means a lot to me and uh, everybody in the class, I just really love you all. Um, I really love you all. So I'm going to show you guys the picture of the class. So here we are. We harvested a whole bunch of Moringa. And that's us. And right there is Mariko. And she is uh, amazing. So if you guys want to become certified growers. Now the reason certified... Hey, Etta. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and here's another little photo of us. Um, but I really love this one. It's such a good photo. <laughs> and uh, everybody is amazing. Everybody is so amazing. I'm, I, I miss you guys already. But we had it, people coming in from Sri Lanka. Dama, Damayante right there, her name, name means diamond. She came from Sri Lanka to, to learn more about Moringa from Mariko. And uh, Blanca right there, it's amazing. And the whole crew is just uh, so amazing. And Tony. He's one of our tribe on, uh, on YouTube and Facebook, guys. So Tony was there and we learned a lot about Moringa. So um, such a great crew. I love you guys. And super excited about my new certification. So that was a quick tangent that I went on. But now this was a gift from the weekend. So during the course, we harvested some Moringa and we processed it. Now here's the reason for a certification course, because Mariko has her own Moringa products. You guys go to MoringaForLife.com and there's some amazing products. You can get pure powder and actually, the reason she needed the certification course was because she's, she's gotta buy clean Moringa for her products. She wants to make sure that her products have the cleanest Moringa ever, so she's been lab testing every batch of Moringa that she gets and before she uses it and make sure it doesn't have salmonella or E. coli or other things because she got 15 different samples of, of Moringa online, had to test them all, or I don't know if it was online or if she bought, looked at suppliers. Anyways, 15 different samples, all were contaminated with either E. coli or salmonella and the only reason is because of the harvesting practices of some of these Moringa farmers because the leaves are what's edible so you got to treat them like a food anyways so she's been training Moringa growers to grow it really really healthy 
and then to process properly and dry it properly so it doesn't have mold on it and other things and it, it retains all its nutrients and then she only buys the purest powder so that's why she's grow, uh, grow, building up new growers so if you guys are interested in growing moringa go to moringaforlife.com and you gotta hit one of her classes and there's a next a, the next one is actually coming up in October guys I think it's October 4th so it's coming up really quick but if you guys are interested you need to go there and sign up um, it's worth every penny and uh, it's not even just about moringas, it's about soil biology, it's about worm castings, it's about bees, it's about um, soil testing. Um, it's a definitely about everything about the moringa and about harvesting the moringa, drying the moringa, looking at soil under microscopes, and meeting a, a bunch of great people. So uh, it's a week-long event and uh, you learn a lot. So if you guys are interested, definitely Moringa for Life and uh, check out their courses. Um, so here's this big cutting when we were harvesting everything and uh, we cut it down to the base, we chopped everything off and harvested it all and I asked him if I could keep this cutting and she said yes. So I'm gonna plant it now and what I did, so you guys didn't have to watch me dig the hole, was, hey baby, how you doing? We're calling her dishes now because she keeps getting up on the counter. She wants to watch us do dishes, she just sits there. I try not to get her on the counter though, I want her to stay down but her new nickname is Dishes. How you doing baby? She loves the dirt. Okay, so hopefully she doesn't think this is a litter box, but um, I have here my amended soil. I'm gonna use a lot of native soil, and I'm gonna also add some more uh, rock dust. Um, i probably add the rest of it because I have another bag of it. So I'm gonna add that right on top. And then the plants that didn't make it, I just, I know this is really great soil, so I wanna put all that back in this mixture. And I think I use these little jiffy pots in this one, which don't, I don't really recommend. They don't work that well. But wow, it's good soil in there though. And this is another uh, pot from a little plant, didn't make it. So, but it's great soil in here. So now I'm just gonna mix all this together. This is the time that you can reflect when you're mixing the soil, because this is living, guys. If you build your soil properly, there's so much life in one cup of soil, like 10 billion organisms in one cup of soil. And uh, if you think about it, we come from the dirt and to the dirt we shall return. So we're all dirt. This is the most important part. What do you do to your soil? How do you protect it? How do you nurture it? How do you build the life back into your soil? Because the, the soil biology that's what grows the plants. Like we don't grow plants, we grow soil and the soil grows the plants. So really, really focus on your soil guys because if you have good soil, you don't need pesticides, you don't need herbicides, you don't need any of that stuff because plants have a healthy immune system. So that's what we're going for is just, and that's why I add a lot of rock dust because it's the A to Z of minerals including trace elements. I use a brand called Azomite, but um, it basically has, I think, over a hundred minerals and trace elements in it that you're re remineralizing the soil so that the plant can take up the nutrients. And then when we eat the food, we get the nutrients into our body. My body, <laughs> my body is telling me. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I wanna show you this. Um, so I'm, I'm planting the, the cutting in this hole here, this big hole I just dug. But then I have all these moringas laid out right there. So, Juan Arco, soil is healthy, is healthy plants. Absolutely, healthy soil, healthy plants. So, um, these are my native soil moringas that I did the test on, these four on this side. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant those. There's more than four in the buckets but I might plant a couple in each hole, but we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna plant a row this way, and then I'm gonna plant the row by the fence. I'm gonna bring the watering eventually up here, and I'm gonna make all the berms connect, so they'll have an overflow system 
um, between each moringa because it goes downhill that way. So I'm not going to do all that on camera for you, but I am going to plant the cutting and then I'm going to give you a moringa update and show you guys how all the moringas are doing around Stonehaven right now. All right, so here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use a lot of native soil because I don't have a, a, too much of this. The other thing I have here is some Jay's Aztec gold that I'm going to use on top of the hole when I'm done just to water it and feed it. So what I'm going to do is take a few of these in the hole and then I'm going to mix it with the native soil underneath. nice. I mean, moringas like native soil, so I'm not afraid to really be heavy on the native soil. I'm just pretty much inoculating the native soil with, with a lot of good stuff, like a lot of good organic matter. Okay, so now I'm going to move this aside. And then I'm going to take the cutting and you want to make sure always that you put your cuttings in up. Make sure that this is how the tree grows up. You don't want to ever put them in upside down. So I'm going to drop this one in. And I'm pretty much going to cover this one all the way up. All the way up to the top of that. And then I'm gonna wet it down. And then I'm gonna add a lot of wood chips in this berm. And it'll allow the water to drain around it. So we'll see. We'll see how this one does. I'll keep you in the loop on how this one does. I'm gonna give it a little bit of water. Well, I'll do that later. So what I'm going to do right now, since I just planted that, that's uh, super excited to see how that one does. But there's a lot of energy in that root ball, and I think that uh, I think that it'll do really well. So I'm going to now take it off the tripod, and I'm going to show you guys a moringa update of everything moringa happening on Stonehaven. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> also. We've been cleaning up the yard and it's just been a godsend having Josh over here. Um, he's been just whew, helping out like crazy. So we got everything in some nice piles. I'm building a little compost thing here with blocks so we can start composting. And then um, kind of the junk piles in the back that we can just use for random material. Um, but we cleared out with this motorhome gone, it's just cleared it out a lot. Um, so now we have a lot of room to work. So it's time to build and plant. So now I gotta design this place. And this is where the pond is gonna go. You can see like where we started to dig the, the pond structure. So that's gonna be, I'm gonna try to do a clay bottom pond, guys. So um, wish me luck and I'll keep you guys along for the ride on that one. So here's the, uh, the greenhouse. Got the lot of little moringas happening here. So these are the ones I transplanted from the red party cups. And um, I'm gonna flip the camera around here. So these are the ones I transplanted and I have them under this misting system. And they're doing pretty well. 
Um, they need a little bit of time to really kick into the transplant because, you know, sometimes some of them are doing really well. And then some of them, you know, they're tall, but they have a little bit of stress. So they're starting to really uh, take on these new pots, which is good. And there's some chaya, the Peruvian superfood. Um, here's all the rare fruit growers. This is the South Sea salad tree. There's a little um, pink tikal guava, um, an orange butterfly milkweed, some little baby dragon fruits, um, possum purple passion fruit, and a grand name banana. So we got some little rare stuff trying to grow in here too. Some habanero peppers, some castor beans. But that's the moringas in the greenhouse. So now I want to show you um, Maui because if you remember right, I think it was uh, probably a week and a half ago now, maybe 10 days. What's up, dude? Hey, this is doing? my hey, friend JJ. Up, he shot the movie that. Uh, that we won the Phoenix Film Festival on. And we just won uh, an award for the TV show that we just did. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah dude. Good job. That was pretty awesome. So, um, I'll, one second. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye, love <laughs> So, um, these are the updates. So basically, we just cut, remember when we just harvest this one, we cut that whole branch out the bottom there. And uh, now it's got some little, So we got some nice new growth at the bottom here. And then the, tr the trunk is getting nice and thick. But we, we chopped this off probably around here. So this has only been a few weeks and it's all the way up here. And this one, this is the giant leaf Moringa. And look at these leaves, look how big those are compared to these other leaves. But um, they taste great. I think I'm gonna harvest this leaf and take pictures of it. <laughs> it's so pretty, but very mild. I mean, look at that. A week and a half. So don't be afraid to chop your moringas, guys. They want to be harvested and they want to regrow. Just uh, chop them the way you to see it shaped, you know, however you want to shape it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you over here, we planted some Moringa cuttings. Now here's the little mini swale that I just cut in. Um, there's the mini swale, so every time it, it waters, water is going to pool up into here and get stopped, hopefully, and it won't go into the road. Um, so here's my figs, but this isn't a fig video. This is a Moringa video. So here we go. Flip this around. This little... Yeah, I am going to sell that RV. Actually, I, I, I just sold it to someone that needs a home. <laughs> they need a place to stay while their house is getting going. So it, it helped me and I hope it can help someone else. But look at this little Moringa from a cutting. Hi, baby. You love it when I'm walking around the garden, don't you? And uh, there's another little branch off that. Now, what I really want to show you guys is the, oh, here's another one. I planted, uh, this is the bonsai part of Maui. Um, I planted right here in the front, kind of comes up at an angle. And look at all these guys coming in. So this one's doing pretty well from a cutting. It's starting to develop roots. So cuttings will definitely take longer to bud out, but that's okay. You know, it might take two months for you to really see buds coming out, but it's okay. Just keep watering it. Uh, you really don't need to worry too much. You just need to, you know, keep it moist. And I'm finding in the summertime, keep them in a shady area. So here's all these little guys they are doing pretty well. I'm trying to find places in the yard because they really want to get in the ground. This is what I'm really excited about. Still have enough light to show you. 
All right, look at these. These are the cuttings that we just took from the trees and we're already getting sprouts. And this is maybe a little less than an inch over there. Um, this one's sprouting here. It's probably half an inch thick. Oh yeah, I'll definitely frost protect these in the winter. I got a nice sprout starting there. Um, and then over here, this is a really thin one. This is less, probably, yeah, about a half inch down here. But this one's sprouting. Um, I got this one is, is having some nice sprouts a little higher up. Um, that's really nice. And then if you look at these, they're taking a little longer, but it is starting to bud out. Right there, and there, and even here. So the root piece that I planted hasn't sprouted yet, but I think it might. So, hey baby, Mrs. Mrs. Bogart. Hi, Mrs. Bogart. I'm so dirty, but she likes it. Hi, baby. So here's some figs I actually got from Temecula as well. And uh, here is the other, this is Moana the Moringa. And if you can see up here, we have a few little buds happening on it. But it'll take a little while, guys. Like, don't rush the cuttings. Definitely don't rush the cuttings. Just uh, expect that it'll take you guys a little while um, for the cuttings to sprout. Jake is, ha I, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going. Are you going? We're going to Jake Mace's, guys. If you, uh, if you wanna come down to Jake Mace's for his garden tour, I think it's on Saturday, Saturday morning. So I think it'll be awesome. You guys, you guys gotta see Jake's place. It's uh, a big inspiration for a lot of stuff I'm doing. So keep going, Jake Mace. Veganathlete.com, guys, check it out. Or The Vegan Athlete on YouTube. All right, so here's the big moringa cuttings that we just planted and uh, a lot of wood chips here like a couple feet but you know it's only been a week and a half or so it doesn't look like much is happening but that is a good sign right there little green bud and let's look for a couple more yeah like in here there's a little green bud right there and right there so guys this is um, right there this is a good sign so this is something that you don't want to be like oh nothing's happening even these are drying up a little bit but you're still getting buds coming out even right there so this one's gonna do well you just want to be patient and don't rush the process now this one I planted in the fire pit. I had to like cut away the caliche um, until I got to some soft dirt, but look at it now. It's sprouting right here. Um, it's given me a lot of sprouts. This is the giant leaf cutting. Sprouts down here even. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. Wanna be a star on YouTube? She loves the backyard. So yeah, guys, that that's the uh, that's the moringa update. That's the video for today. So um, thanks for <laughs> watching, guys, because um, I'm trying to do these every day, but then I have to do all this training, and I'm excited about this training, and I don't want to be, you know, in the in the thing filming you know when i have all these people it's about the relationships and gardening so when i go to these trainings i really want to be there and be there with the people so i'm not doing videos on those days but uh i'm gonna catch up keep going guys um so i'm taking the permaculture design course with greg peterson and a whole bunch of other amazing people starting on september 30th so i'm super excited about that um, I can't wait to let you guys know what I learn from the process. And I'm going to be integrating it into the orchard, uh, Stonehaven Organic Ranch Orchard. So little uh, area of moringas. It'll be my moringa demo farm here at Stonehaven uh, version beta. <laughs>
Anyways, all right, guys, I love you. Hey, go to hashtag I want more Moringa on Facebook. It's a group, and sign up and plant Moringas and take pictures of the Moringas. And uh, we're planting a million Moringas in five years. I think I know we're gonna make it now, especially after all the people that I just met. Um, I just keep stay updated with them. I'm gonna count their Moringas too, and they're doing some awesome projects across the world with Moringa. So, anyways. Um, if you like this video, give me a big green thumbs up and share this video with the world because I want everybody to know that they can grow their own moringas and eat right out of their front yard and eat, eat medicine right out of their front yard. So, and it tastes good. So, um, anyways, I love you guys. And uh, give me a subscribe too if you like this video because you'll get all my updates on whenever I'm going live or whenever I have another video post. So. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely put them down below because I do videos sometimes based around the comments that I get. So if you have, have any questions, gardening questions, um, if, I, if I can answer it, I'll try to do it in a video. Um, otherwise, I'll just answer it in the comments. So I will respond to every comment you guys make. So until next time, I love you all and develop awesome skills. Ciao. <laughs>